Hi, I'm Doug Lamblum, beef cattle specialist at the Dickinson Research Extension Center. We're here in a cover crop field that was seeded back in June of 2012. This is December 12th of 2012 and we're in this cover crop field looking at uh, uh, the activity that's going on here. We're grazing this uh, crop with uh, cows that are in their basically their second trimester and this field was seeded in June to a, a, a mixed cover crop blend uh, of sunflower and of course you can see the sunflowers that are and we seeded those at about two pounds per acre an everleaf oat we seeded at 20 pounds per acre winter pea flex variety at 20 pounds per acre hairy vetch five pounds per acre Winford forage rape a pound per acre Ethiopian cabbage a pound per acre and hunter leaf turnip at a pound per acre and we've got a, a, a very good catch on it this spring and we're trying to make sure that we seed our cover crops in mid-June when we still have a higher probability of, of good precipitation to get the crop germinated and up and growing. Uh, we've been measuring the amount of production here by clipping and there's a little over 3,000 pounds per acre in this cover crop field that we're on today and we're going to graze half and leave half and so uh, some calculations we think that we have about 30 days of grazing with 30 days of grazing here uh, and the acreage and the cows that we have uh, we probably have grazing for about 30 days in here for those cows and that'll give us a uh, approximately a half to six tenths of an acre per cow per month uh, of grazing on this cover crop field and still leave still leave uh, oh, about half of the forage here half of the residue here for uh, building soil health uh, we did some digging into the soil this uh, last fall and we got a lot of root development and of course that's uh, that's going to help develop uh, soil uh, aggregation which is important in, in developing soil health and we look like uh, we're going to be able to uh, save a, a fair amount of hay about a month's worth of hay by grazing uh, in these cover crops with the cows that are here. So this is Doug Landblum from the Dickinson Research Extension Center reporting here this afternoon.